feels it. I'm generally a fan of it. But obviously, it remains to be seen. There's a lot of Smash to be played between now and then. We'll see how the next Pandora ranking works out. However, we have our number one and number three total seed at this tournament. Yeti versus the Buzz. Winners, finals, spotlight number one. I would say, uh, you got Mega Man and Olimar facing off. Should be a very interesting matchup to these characters. Uh, definitely, they, they don't work like other characters in this game. You know what I'm saying? Like, Olimar definitely has uh, his thing with his Pikmin. Uh, Mega Man, he, he doesn't really fight you. <laughs> he's, uh, he's using these different items. That and, kill! Yes, man, yes. How did he get that, such an extension on that second up air? That, uh, that wow. high off top, you're just going to die, man. Uh, being, being an owl. Alpha's lighter than all of our. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Please don't quote me on that. Ooh, okay, up smash. Nothing afterwards, though. A Yeti in, in pole position True. in this early game. Oh, yeah. He's, he hasn't get, even been a Trying to get dude. rid of that purple one. Look at her run. <laughs> I like how you know that like the purple one's a girl because she has like fake eyelashes on. <laughs> no comment. Ooh, wow. Again. Uh oh, does he have a jump? He just burned it, and he had an air dodge there. He still has the up and the air dodge which come back, so he's fine. Yeti still able to make it back to the stage. Probably now I'm going to back off a bit more just because he's sitting at 146 damage. Uh, when before, he had a pretty tiny percent, so he can go in and do some things. But now really you just want to try to tack on as much damage as you can uh, while you're up as high. And yet he is, he's been battered and bruised in this stock, but he's still in it, and that means he can, just, like, as you said, just eventually scrape some extra damage here. Metal Blade coming out, just tossing everything that he can. Finally able to get rid of that pesky red Pikmin. That red Pikmin, he just was not able to kill. You're not able to use the flame slash on it. Uh, also the Crass Bomber. Uh, doesn't care about that either, but that's also fire. Fantastic DI in that death situation to the very corner of the blast zone, as you see on that blast zone radar. Once again, that pesky red Pikmin bearing its face. Oh my gosh, he's telling you he's going nuts. He, he's like, I don't care, I'm already at kill percent. Those I'm yellow gonna... Pikmin do go through the forward smash. You saw that, I think, in the yep. interaction. Because uh, the forward smash has like the electric properties. So, Ooh, okay. All right, you, you deserve to die for that one. Sitting at 99% though. Oh, okay. I, I was like, wait, I don't tell me uh, expended all those recovery options there. Alright. Got rid of purple. Up smash, up smash, up smash, up air, up air? Oh, dag. Zero to 50, baby. Yeah. That that damage output from Alamar is still nuts. People forgot about it because that, that shield change from the, the, the bug from previously made it now, less popular to pick Olimar, but Olimar is still a nutty character in now this they, game. When they went and did the shield fixing here, did that fix that issue for Olimar? I believe it did. Poke? I've seen some low shields from DeBuzz's Olimar in this tournament that have not resulted in a shield poke, so I, I think the fix is valid. Oh, dang. Hello? All right, let's see what DeBuzz is doing. Did he jump? Uh, well, he had a lot of damage, and yet he's sitting at 141 damage, so uh, he might not have. Uh, yeah, that move, that move scales pretty well with Rage, I do believe. Uh, well, I mean, also you could have, because uh, the buzz was down airing, so it could have been a jumping down air. Okay. Wow, great turnaround from Yeti as he continues to add on excellent damage on the stock. However, the blue up throw is one of the, the big fail-safe options for Olimar to take a stock, and he does just so. And I feel like he racked that damage up so fast. He's sitting at 73 damage, and all we did was try to figure out how the buzz died, and he's already at 73. Yeah, Mega Man's damage can be crazy. If you, you make, like, two wrong guesses after getting hit by you one move. look at move. it, and you're just like, oh. Oh, these little pokes actually did a lot of damage. You can say the same about Olimar, though. Oh, yeah. Pikmin's coming out. Uh, White Pikmin. A lot of damage, and he did not get rid of him. That up throw's not going to kill. Mega Man is on the heavier end, but Shaniqua coming through and uh, getting, that, getting that win, bro. Good, good job, Shaniqua. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> did it. After DeBuzz was uh, battered and bruised a little bit in that game, yeah. he did find the comeback factor to take game one.
That is correct. DeBuzz has not dropped a single game in this tournament yet. That was the closest he ever been, I would say. Closest but, he was to losing a game? Yeah, the closest he was to losing a game. Right. But, Shout uh, out to DeBuzz. Yeti did not find enough to, uh -huh. to cross that barrier. DeBuzz making the Midwest look free. That's all I'm saying. <coughs> Hopefully that's enough motivation for Yeti. But oh, yes, most definitely. All right, so we're going to roll into a game number two here. Hey, coming to Smashville. One, so it's not going to have as much room to, to run around with those pick ones. Ooh, up Smash coming out. Yeah, another purple. So, all right. So the white Pikmin in that last game, I felt like was the big difference maker on that last stock because instead of getting that white Pikmin off, he opted to continue to attack the Buzz and get more damage on the try and get the kill. And he ate probably a good 20% of the white Pikmin. So it's a complicated question whether you should actually take the time to attack a Pikmin off of you. Yeah. The white Pikmin obviously is the most damaging Pikmin when it gets lapped on you. Yeah. The the other three Pikmin that latch, not the purple Pikmin because the purple Pikmin just hits you. True. Uh, the other three are just really not worth it. So you, you just kind of want to do your thing. You take 1% per second, which is like kind of whatever. Yeah. The, the white Pikmin, Olimar's going to try to set up something like a, like a, a frame trap situation where you would do an attack mm. to knock the Pikmin off you. And then he hits you with something bigger that you just really don't want to get hit by. Ooh, gosh. That's yeah, 0 to 40, here. 0 to 50 in an instant as Alomar is in a great spot here in game two. Forward smash coming off, and this game started off looking like, you know, all right then, Yeti. I see you going off stage, getting that back here on the buzz. It didn't kill, but the buzz was able to take that first stock with the up throw. Got the buzz off stage once again, but he's going to go to the other side of the stage. Rolls right into the forward smash. And you can charge that forward smash so ambiguously where you think that like a neutral get up will be safe, but you'll get hit by the forward smash, or you think a roll will be safe because it'll go past him because you'll throw it out early, and then you just get hit by a forward smash. smash. That is one of the, the the better ledge trapping tools that Mega Man has in his kit. It doesn't seem like it, but that move ledge traps well. hard. Alright, got the metal blade coming out. Buzz trying to trying to force Yeti to have first ledge, man. It's like, you know what? I see you back there. As long as I can toss in these Pikmin out, you're going to have to come at me, man. Another part of the equation, by the way, is uh, when a Pikmin latches on you, which part of your character's body it gets latched to, yeah, and I'm which moves hit that part of their body. Because, like, if one gets latched to your arm and you just don't have a hitbox that hits your arm, like, you, you just have to take that damage. That's something that is not a part of the, the calculus that you can really think about. Yeah, some people aren't blessed with hitboxes that can hit other Pikmin in all positions. But it's an important part of a, a versus Alamar matchup for any character. Oh, went for the up tilt. He's going to dive from the forward smash. All right, once again, we see the Shaniqua and Monique combo coming through for the bugs. I, I really thought Yeti was, like, going to land that up tilt. He doesn't go for it in situations yeah. where he thinks it's not going to land. But it'd be like that. Okay, another white Pikmin. The bear's going to get him off, though. He learned from that last game. Got the two purples. Got a blue Pikmin as well. Okay. They're on the shield. Yeti's trying to safely get this kill. He's only sitting at 34 damage right now. And he does not want to receive more damage. He wants to keep it low for the Buzz's final stock. All right. Ooh, I see you moving the Buzz. Those little tiny uh, outlets. This is a scary spot for Yeti to be as he gets back air. Now he's out of resources. That... That Crash Bomber clashing yeah. with the Pikmin was so important. Shoots another Crash Bomber into and, the yep. ledge. See you later, dude. Crash Bomber not helping out that time. Earlier in that game, uh, he did shoot a Crash Bomber, and it really got stuck to the Pikmin, and then it like, blew up the buzz, and I was just like, what? It didn't, didn't, uh, didn't know that was a thing. Or maybe he got the perfect corner on the ledge. The buzz has just been so clutch. Either, this, man. Uh, yeah, the buzz is uh, showing us. You know what? This character has a shield back. Maybe, maybe Olimar is not mid tier anymore. Someone needs to ask him. I think it's debatable if Olimar was ever mid tier. But I mean, well, in his you world, from mid tier. Me, man. You say Rose is high tier and Olimar is mid tier. All right, so um, I'm gonna run back to Smashville. I mean, Alamar Al won an S tier before that buff. 
to his shield. Almar Almar was never a mid tier. Shoot on won an S tier with 1,800 entrants. I mean, he won a controller, so like, yeah. congrats, dude. <laughs> but he won an S tier. That's a, that is a fact that is in the books. To Buzz is obviously very capable of winning an S tier in his own right as a top yeah, 10 player true. in the world. Yeah, that's got to be like the most true thing ever, man. You mid tier out here winning S tier? That's where they do that ass. That, that's not how this works. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, we got the back throw. Got some pellets coming out. Buzz making it back down to the ground. Just does a marvelous job. When you get back to the stage, even though this character does not have any hitboxes, just evading everything that Mega Man has, and now he has Yeti on the ropes. Yeah, Yeti's been in his ledge trap for it feels like 30 seconds straight. And I like that the buzz just stays on stage. Don't want to... Oh, oh wow. but you thought you had time to go for that pivot grab, which would have been a KO. That was a blue pick and definitely lined up for the grab. Would have killed Mega Man, but you missed that by just a second, and the spot yeah, dodge, cancel, spot up dodge. tilt, gonna clean up. Forward smash. <laughs> Yeti with a slight smile there. All right, both of these guys sitting on their second stop. Yeti trying to stop a 3 0. Man. He said, You know what, the buzz? You came to the Midwest. Nobody's taking a game from you. We got to change this. Let's see if Yeti has what it takes. Like mixing up these uh, leaf shields on the shield. Nice movement, but the buzz is not fooled and he has all the stage control as a result. Got some, some more leaf shield action coming out. Pikmin once again. Oh, just trying to all these hitboxes in the ledge. Not letting Yeti get onto the stage for free. More leaf shield. Alright, now Yeti's in a good position. And okay, oh. extending that down air. It killed two Pikmin for his trouble, which means that uh, DeBuzz will have to pull oh, a Pikmin. Oh, he got rid of Shanique. Oh, okay. She didn't. Oh, she's gone now. She actually wow. re reappeared. That's a real ride or die, bro. <laughs> that is a real ride or die. What? In the one oh, pallet man. stage spike? That was cold. That was like the most persistent edge guard ever. And that leaf shield canceled to pick up the metal blade? Okay. Yeti is starting to move and groove. This is uh, the most comfortable I've seen, and this is definitely the best position anyone has been in to take a game off of the buzz today. Back. Just takes that metal blade to the face. Got some more pellets coming out. Uh -oh. Leaf shield once again. He's going to jump. Get out of there. Yeah, jump to the ledge. Buy yourself a little space, but you rolled up, yeah. and that means the buzz has got you. And that is the uh, the one bad thing about that, that, that leaf shield jumping that uh, I talked about that he was doing earlier. When you do jump off of the stage like that, if your opponent's not on the stage, you are now in bad stage position. Yes. Oh, wow. That's Upstairs. Stage just, positioning is worth so much in this game, especially versus a character like Olimar. Like, stage positioning means he can camp under the platform. He can just have his way with you with Monique out to play, uh, and the Buzz will not drop a game going into grand finals. Yeah. The game that you, you just talked about, this was the best position that Yeti was sitting in, and then uh, the Buzz was like, you know what? Reversed it in an instant. 